Tom, a bit of a, a, a disappointing day, and I'm sure from the players' point of view, you, you're all pretty much hurting in there, aren't you? Yeah, look, we want to win every game we play, um, regardless of what game it is of the season. Um, so to obviously come a come away from home, um, obviously we've been on a good run recently to, to not get any points in the game is obviously disappointing. You got a lot of disappointed lads in there, but we've already said it's now about the response and um, and we're, we've got a strong strong group we've shown all season. We come back from defeats, um, so now it's about the response and it's uh, on to the next now. It was frustrating as well, given the level of support, given both what was riding on the game and the nature of the, the opposition as well. Collectively, when you've gone in there now, how have you felt knowing of what's transpired today? Look, we, we've said all along it's it's one game at a time, and it's this this one game. Of, of course, it's uh, a lot's ride on the game. We're not we're not silly in that aspect, but the the fans have travelled in their numbers today and sold out um, the end. And it's I think that's a disappointment because we want to give them something to cheer about and I think how well they followed us home and away this season. It's been amazing and. Um, it's obviously gutting, obviously the result is actually gutting, but gutting to not give the fans something to, to cheer about and go home and it's obviously their weekends ruined as much as it is ours. So very disappointing, um, but now it's about the experience lads getting us together, uh, myself included, and it's about how we, we look at this game, see what we did wrong and we go again next week. And he's talked about getting those senior players together, as you just said there, and using that experience now to help through some of the more inexperienced members of the team. How do you, as, as that group, go about helping some of the, the younger lads and ones who've never been in this position before? Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's give, getting the experience that maybe myself, Aaron Marty and Chris Hussey, the, the likes of, of us, that we've been in these situations, we've gone and played in front of big crowds, and it's about how, how, we, handle, how, how we handle that. We're, again, we're... In, Run the sky, sky next next game we're in. So it's again, it's more pressure. But it's like we say, we've said it to a few of the lads before. It's, it's, these are the games you want to be involved in. These are the the, the games, the the big atmosphere, the big crowds. It's the games you want to be involved in. So it's yeah, it's it's about talking to the lads like you said that haven't haven't been here before and maybe haven't experienced the big crowds. But the only way you're going to get experience from that is is being involved in them and playing in them. So. It's, uh, it's, a li it's the little bits um, that we have to keep passing on, which is, is part of the game, is, is part of really why, why the experience has to get brought in as well. So it's, no, it's, it's something that I enjoy and you've got to, got to give your experiences out to, to the younger pros. You had pressure on you when you were being chased, now you've got to do the chasing and hope other teams do you a favour now. Uh, is it disappointing that it is no longer in your own hands? Um, I think that when you start thinking, oh, it's in our own hands, it's not in our own, you start thinking too far ahead. We, we know that how, how often the, the league table changes. Any team in this league can beat anyone, and we've shown that. Other teams have shown that today, and, and we'll show, have shown that all season. It's, it's, it's about now how we how prepare for Newport home next weekend, and we do our job. All we've got to do is our job and then let the other results take care of themselves. If we don't go and win games, it doesn't matter what other teams do. We've just got to go and win our game, uh, win against Newport, and, win them and we'll prepare as we have done all season for that. Given what you've all gone through as a group this year with, with Darrell, with you know the injuries that you've had, uh, it, it would be cruel to have the season decided ultimately by your last four games. You don't want that to happen. Of course not, you, you, of course, but you can't. It's no luck, hard luck story with us. We've, we've all been there. Um, you're never going to have a season where everyone's fit and you're always going to have injuries. Yes, it's been unlucky that you've had a few injuries that have maybe lasted longer than we, we wanted or a, 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 injuries to, to key players, but... Like we've said, we, week in, week out, we've got a squad here that uh, the Gaffer and Cros and uh, the, the board have, have brought in this season, and it was to, to compete at a, um, a good level, and we've done that. And it's now about, again, players getting opportunities and, and cementing their place in the team. So that's what it's about. That's why we uh, bring a squad together. Finally, on a personal note, good to get back out there, obviously, despite the result. But you know, uh, how are you feeling now in, in coming into this final hurdle? You know, it's a lot yeah. being asked of you. No, agreed. I, I think it was an injury which we thought was going to be a lot longer than um, than we was. It was going to be we, when we first time. I think we was worried that I wasn't going to be back for any time soon. So, big credit goes to the medical medical department. You have got Greeny Banco um, have done a great job with me to get me back out there today. Um, and I've said that already in them, thank, thanks to them. So it's, it's now about looking after myself and making sure that this week I'm, I'm getting obviously the, the fitness in my legs. So I've missed a month um, fitness in my legs, but ready to go uh, next Monday.